There is no such thing as a competition of tears. Any inequality or suffering is wrong. Whenever you have to fight for your rights, I think it's pretty clear that there's an inequality and injustice. Stigma and fear, instilling fear into people, are a form of inequality. Stigma if you're gay. Stigma if you're black. Stigma if you're of, of a different religion. As much as I'm angered every day <laughs> by the insane, self-destructive kind of opposition to simple fairness and equality, I'm also encouraged every day by what will be the future far beyond me. Our generation's fight is to make sure that we bring the margins into the center. You don't have to be a gay person to advocate for LGBT rights. You don't have to be an immigrant to advocate for immigrant rights. You don't have to be a woman to be a feminist. So you can start to see how these issues are very interrelated. And from an economic perspective, you know, we're seeing businesses take leadership on this agenda, not only because it's in their moral interests, but actually it's in their economic interests. Everybody benefits uh, when there is uh, more equality whether it's uh, finance or the nonprofit world or politics or higher education or arts and culture. The problems of inequality of every dimension, gender inequality, racial inequality, economic inequality, has to be solved uh, together. None of us are free until all of us are free, and we can't leave anybody behind. Inequality is a two-way street. My equality is tied to your equality.